Hello there, my friends. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my Monsanto World full playthrough on the PlayStation 5. We are in the Iceborne expansion, and this is, well, it's supposed to be part 49, but guys, I'm going to do it as part 48. Right, let me explain. What happened was, um, we went after Brute Tigrex, right? So it was a new monster. Um, you know, like I said in the previous episodes, I'm going to record something if it's something you guys haven't seen before, especially if you're a new player. So, you know, I found a question mark in the Rotten Vale section of the Guiding Lands. And um, anyway, we went through the hunt. I did a lot of talking and that, a lot of raging because a freaking savage Devil Joe was there. And uh, guess what happened? I didn't actually have my microphone turned on. <laughs> my microphone was off, guys. So don't worry, the game audio is there. You can hear everything else, but um, just not my voice, unfortunately. <laughs> so anyway, here's what's going to happen, actually, guys. Um, we're going to do this quest. Now, you know, I keep talking about uh, great spirit vein gems. Well, I've got I, I managed to capture quite a lot of them from... Um, you know, hunting down many tempered uh, monsters, uh, three star level tempered monsters like, you know, tempered Rajang, um, Lunastra, uh, Runa, Nagagante, etc. However, guys, if, you, if you're in desperate need of uh, great spirit vein gems, do this quest. We're going to do this now, actually, so I'll show you this as an example. This is called O Day to Destruction. So this was what was supposed to be part 49, <laughs> right? But um, I may as well put these, uh, both of these episodes together. So anyway, without further ado, guys, we're going to do this quest. And um, I'll say my goodbyes afterwards. And you'll find the Brute Tigrex hunt in the Rotten Vale section of the Guiding Lands. I'll put that afterwards. So we'll wrap this up under part 48. Yeah, anyway, that was a bit embarrassing. Oh, well, let me check if my microphone is on. <laughs> it is on. <laughs> Shit. Anyway, guys, all right, here we go. Without further ado, O Day to Destruction. Slay a Rune and a Gigante. It, it is tempered. And also, uh, one more thing, guys, another important material it does drop, apart from the, um, you know, gems, is Shadow Core Ore. Very important as well. It's quite rare, also. Um, anyway, here we go. The commander. Scouts have sighted an unusually fierce Rune and Gigante out in the field. We need you to investigate. Expect some great spirit vein gems as a reward for your trouble. Guys, you don't always get this though, <laughs> right? Sometimes you may just get normal spirit vein gems, but just keep farming it out. It's actually a lot of fun. I actually enjoy this fight. Anyway, guys, so... I'm going to get all prepped and ready. I think I've already showed you guys the builds, but um, I'll show you the builds when I get there. And yeah, I'll see you there. All right, guys, here we go. Right, grab these. Let's get all buffed. Mega armor, mega demon. Uh, and by the way, guys, just a quick update as well. I'm leveling up the Hoarfrost Reach area of the Guiding Lands. And that's very important because we need to find a, a tempered Stygian Zenoga. So I'm going to get some of his um, materials as well. Did I take all of that? I did. Okay. So uh, that's kind of like the final uh, part of my augmenting journey. <laughs> so anyway, once um, that's done... I'm going to farm a little bit for, you know, more decos, etc. But where the hell did I save this? Was it this? No, it has to be this. This my Anyway, this is my new build. There's nothing to it, to be honest. I think I've showed this before, guys. All right, full peak performance, wax, critical boost, health boost, full guard, crit eye, kind of. And uh, agi, full agi, uh, what else? Anything else? fortify offensive guard and tool specialists in the mantles all right guys so let's do this all right what do i want let's use that oh and uh, check out <laughs> check out kuro's <laughs> no gigante outfit it looks awesome guys that looks amazing i like the raging bracky one but this one's amazing as well <laughs> anyway guys let's do this All 
All right, let's go. Hello, bitch. <laughs> All right, here we go. A two. A three. Get in that wall. <laughs> All right, excellent. All right, let's get his head softened. Here we go. He's gonna roar again, and here we go. <laughs> what an awesome monster, guys! All right, what's he doing? Okay, so let's go up this way. Uh, what happened there? That must be Kuro, guys. That wasn't me. Okay, it does hurt a bit more, <laughs> so just be aware of that. Guys, this one's unusually very big. Okay. Oh, whoa! Oh, whoa, that's never happened before, guys. Okay, I'm a little bit worried. That's never happened before. <laughs> I promise. Anyway. Maybe it was because I was pressed up against the wall, maybe. Oh, crap. I need to put my uh, glider. One second. Oh, I'm not on his tail, really. Damn it. Oh, poor guy. He's all tired. <laughs> right, let's soften some of these. I would have turned him. I haven't got any stones. I better get some, actually. Right, here we go. I hate when he does that. He loves flinching, doesn't he, guys? Ah, oh, come on, dude. Nice. Okay. Anyway, whatever. Just get the damage in. My affinity is going to be quite low. It's only at like 40%. So I need him agitated. Okay. All right, good, good, good. All right, cure that bleed. So make sure you got a stare of jerky or sushi fish, whatever you prefer. Damn it, man. Guys, I hate when his arm pushes you out of the way. It's freaking annoying. Okay, let's go this way. And... Shit, I need to soften his head. Thank you, Kuro. <laughs> All right, here we go, guys. Okay. Right, sometimes these stones... Respawn, they did. Okay, good. Now, where do I want to put him? All right, here we go. All right, let's try to get his head softened. And here we go. Oh, God damn it. Okay. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, stop sliding. Jesus. Oh, my God. I really hate that, guys. Oh, for God's sake. He's actually got a hitbox there. Okay, I need to get rid of that. I need to collect that. Whoa! Whoa! 
All right, everything's fine. We're okay. <laughs> We're okay. Uh, you know what? Let's get this. Let's try and weaken that. All right, guys. So let's go. Oh, you boss. <laughs> I think that was Kuro, that wasn't me. <laughs> well done, Kuro. <laughs> anyway, guys, look, this is what you do. Just keep running this quest as often as needed. And, uh, yeah. Okay, is he... Am I able to actually move him, though? No, I knew it. He tricks you, guys. <laughs> Arsehole. Okay, here we go. Jesus! <laughs> My goodness. All right, here we go, here we go. Two. Oh, shit! Are you serious? Ah, damn it. be quiet guys i'm just i'm just staying alert that's all and i'm still kind of learning the fight as well wow guys that was my um power god and he still managed to oh god oh god he still managed to throw me on the floor that's it that is insane guys never happened before <laughs> okay. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> okay, let's finish this. <laughs> just on time. All right, guys, there you go. So that's all, really. Just, you know, play this um, event as many times as you need to. And like I said, you can still get it from other monsters in the Guiding Lands, but this is more reliable. The only problem is also the Great Spirit Vein Gems. It's not guaranteed you'll get that every time you do this event. You may get Shadow Core Ore. Um, I've only gone super lucky once, and that's without using like any vouchers or... I have tried a Great Kiran Luck, or a Great Divinity, sorry. And... Um, I managed to get all rewards like i got two great spirit vein gems some normal spirit vein gems and shadow core ore. but most of the time you'll get one or the other you know it just depends what rng jesus <laughs> wants to give you wants to bless you with that day but yeah that's pretty much it <laughs> look at his face <laughs> poor poor nergigante all right awesome okay let's have a look i've got about five at the moment okay check oh nice i've got a shadow call because i do need those especially for some charms okay what is that yes yes guys oh nine minutes guys it normally takes me about 10 or 11 minutes i'm not a speed runner i don't really care about that sort of thing but i do want to get this time a little bit shorter just to make the uh farming experience just a little bit easier but anyway that's done and anything else wow we're 195 master rank guys okay i'll see you back at Astera, guys hey guys we are back okay sorry i said Astera. i meant celiana <laughs> anyway right let's go into here i'm going to show you why i was farming go we're well, not farming just fighting golrathian just trying to find some um you know better decos oh guys i got an amazing deco from her though 
handicraft vitality <laughs> that was awesome but anyway i'll see how i can make use of that um later on but anyway it's an awesome deck regardless but check this out i managed to find a gold crown miniature that was the first ever fight we did against gold rathian i don't know how many episodes ago but that was a while back but um you well yesterday for me when i was uh, fighting gold rathian i found a large gold crown <laughs> gold rathian guys when I say this thing was massive, I wish I wish I had it recorded because it was huge. <laughs> it was massive. But um, yeah, it was just big. I just thought I'd tell you guys. But um, anything else to update you on? Well, yeah, there's a Brew Tigrex. Now, obviously, I didn't read this out when I did the episode. Um, but I'll read this out to you now. So this is Brew Tigrex. Um, a flying wyvern, blackish brown scales, and a stronger raw set this Tigrex spe a subspecies apart. Extremely aggressive, even by Tigrex standards. That is true. <laughs> that is true. As with its standard cousins, it will tire out after repeated charges, so attempt to bait them out. Breaking its head is an effective way to weaken the monster's raw. I didn't know that. I didn't know that, guys. That's interesting. So you got to attack its head. What I did, and you'll see in the video, I actually attacked its wings. I made that as a priority. Also, if you check out the weaknesses as well, it's extremely weak to water. So I used the Hydros um, Namiel Lance against it, and it seemed to be really good. So I was quite happy with that. But of course, you know, you could use a light break uh, blast uh, weapon if you want to. I just like a bit of variety from time to time okay and that's all its materials yeah pretty cool so anyway guys i'm gonna leave it there so this is my goodbye i'm still farming we need to get Horfrost reach to the maximum level seven i know for a fact there's guaranteed tem tempered rune and agagantes but i've already explained in the last episode i actually found one randomly in the volcanic region it was just random and it was tempered as well Anyway, I kicked the living crap out of it and basically got over 20, I think it's 25 um, Annihilating Temper Horns, I think it's called. So I managed to get enough. I, I mean, I only need to upgrade one, two, I think three Rarity 12 weapons. But in any case, guys, so the next um, part of this video is going to be what was supposed to be part 48. And that'll be me saying that, hey guys, we're going to hunt a mysterious creature out in the rotten bell section um but the mic is is switched off all you're gonna hear is the game audio i may put some writing in there or something um if i need to highlight anything but otherwise it's just trying to find the mysterious brutes tyrex and hunt it and that's pretty much it all right guys but otherwise thank you very much for joining me today thank you very much for watching and i'll catch you in the next video take care my friends